Biologists say the Gulf and Atlantic Ocean are on the brink of what could potentially be one of the biggest environmental disasters, and a lot of people are not even aware of it. Lionfish are taking over local waters. Reporter Devin Caffaro takes us diving 60 feet under in this Fox 10 Outdoors special report. Bright red stripes, venomous spines, and a big appetite. What was once an exotic aquarium pet from the Indo-Pacific region is now a top predator right here. They are like fire ants with fins. In the mid-1980s, several lionfish were released in the Atlantic Ocean. Researcher Robert Turpin told us at the Pensacola Lionfish Festival, the first one was spotted off Escambia County in 2010. We've seen a spread over just five or six years of a phenomenal invasion. And that invasion has led to scenes like this. That's because the species is thriving in our ecosystem. Lionfish are outbreeding and eating all of the native fish, but have no natural diseases or predators to keep the population in check. That's why it's up to us. To control them, you have to get more divers in the water. Captain Chris Williams with Jolly Roger Dive Charters took us 11 miles offshore Pensacola. Where we're headed out to is the Russian freighter. It's an area known for lionfish. Once we anchored up, got a lesson. Make sure that the spines of the lionfish are away from you also. And suited up, it was time to take our reporting to new depths. As the bottom slowly came into view, we set off to explore. Activating and otherworldly, this beautiful wreck is home to many different species. And it wasn't long before we found our first lionfish. You will see a decimation of the local population of fish that we should have out there. and. The lionfish are just the prevailing uh, marine life that's out there right now. We didn't see as many lionfish as we anticipated, though. Our dive is no comparison to other sites like this off Pensacola. Biologists say that's because so many local divers come here. A small success story in the lionfish saga. But we're told a complete removal is unlikely as lionfish continue to breed in deeper waters where divers can't reach. Our dive came to an end. Our lionfish total small compared to the 8,000 we saw at the Pensacola tournament this past weekend. If he can take in a fish that's roughly three quarters his size, I mean, that that's almost unlimited what he could eat out there. Good meat, good eat. But the more people we have in the water, the more power we have in the fight to save our ecosystem. Reporting in the Gulf, Devin Caffaro, Fox 10 News. And if you can't dive, biologists say one big way you can help is simply by eating. In part two of the special report, Devin will show you some tasty ways you can prepare lionfish at home. 